Yo, what's up guys, this is Raphael from C Manga, and I'm here to give you a review of this week's chapter of The Breaker, New Ways Chapter 1, Double 3 and yeah, this was sick that's what I can say, literally for a downfall, I enjoyed this chapter so much it wasn't like you know, um, as climatic or um, suspenseful as everything else. Well, it actually, kind of was at the end, but it just had the elements of what reminded me of the original breaker. I had the whole nostalgia feeling again. This bar um, that happened in this chapter was really great. For one whole reason, I just liked that she was getting these ass handed to. There was a clear difference in strength, like I said, um, and it was obvious. There was no way she was gonna be able to be um, so chunk because he's um obviously lacking the experience and i'm glad they did this rather than doing you know those kind of ass pull um heroes of the manga getting a victory because out of nowhere and it was really good to see in this chapter um it was interesting because um so chong is really confused in this chapter by shuin's motives he's like why does he want this duel and what i enjoyed was um, one part was when shuin went to attack again he basically stated rubbish you know as usual oh, I just want to test your strength and he did the same maneuver and that trick Shochan and so basically he did he attempted to do the same counter maneuver he did last chapter but this time she wouldn't body swerve you know the one he loves to do when he kind of twists around to and it's basically back to back to you and he's like oh do you think I'm gonna fall for the same thing and then there's a large bang and we see she wins like that and he sent flying into the air and he's like tumbled about three um, times uh, and basically he's flat on his freaking face and I was, I was really laughing at that part it actually made me laugh and everyone was like oh crap what happened and yeah um, So Chong basically said that did surprise him but um, it was still you know kind of perfect for him to not counter that so he's like you know if you expected me to lose to that you got another thing coming and he basically he did a low counter so he just hit him from below and threw him which pretty much happened um what else yeah that that part um as i said was probably the best part for me i enjoyed that part it was hilarious um she was pretty much laughing after making everyone say they thought he was brain damaged and um this is when um so chung understands she win um basically he just wanted a duel that was it there was no hidden motive or you know any sort of ulterior motive as, or anything like that and he actually smiles and he says oh thank you you know in his head he's like for staying the same like she win pretty much was exactly how he was in the first breaker but um you know obviously more refined as a man because um so chung a lot of times um said you know you could lose an arm or a leg or something um i just like do you know what you're risking you could get a broken bone or something anything like that and i there was a collage panish, panel sorry i liked and it had she went in front and he looked really mature his eyes were kind of glazed or something like that and um, it shows basically all of the main events that happened in his life like um, Elder Jung dying, him fighting, um, I can't remember that bully, that freaking arsehole and um, I think it was him fighting Doc Kim Rang, you know all the major moments in his life and he's basically saying do you think I'm not ready for this, I've experienced a lot of happiness, sadness in my life I've broken bones and whatever any kind of injury so you know I'm prepared for this, I want to see what you've got and yeah most of that um, after that was just sparring and yeah it was really good to see um now the latter part of the chapter was interesting because i got my wish even though it took like a um, nearly a year i kept begging for um the nine arts dragon to return and they did they showed um chong Wu at the end and he's coming out of the airport with his little gang they're all carrying swords and all sort of weapons as a crowd are kind of confused thinking they're actors and this is when I was like, what the flip? We see Zhong Lei Wang waiting there with a few um, soldiers holding guns and they're like, and he's like, oh, you look a bit different. It's like, but I would not have, um, I would not have recognized you if you didn't come barging in like this. And I just thought, this guy clearly has a death wish. I mean, he just about got away with the incident with the Sun Wu Clan and Shi Wen. And Shi Wen could have killed him. He even said, next time you come, I'll, I'll destroy you. So um, you're going after his mentor, he, uh, who has a much volatile um, temper, 
and you know what I just feel like either he's gonna die next time or he's gonna get his ass handed to and all those other soldiers are gonna die there's gonna be a massacre and um, I don't think um, Chung Wu is in any mood to be talking he's on his way to Seoul he wants to claim that city and you know some someone from the government you really think that's a good idea to be <laughs> trying to confront him he's definitely not gonna um, I'd say be in the talking mood so yeah as I said this chapter was enjoyable um, I really did like it I was paid at the end because I was like I was click next and I actually swore and I was like you gotta be kidding me I was like I was expecting like a word from him but we haven't it's just like nothing it just just cut off there and it was well very well done so um, you know it's just the excitement waiting for next week um, I'm actually wondering um, if Jong Lei Wan will mention she went to Chong Wu and say you know I thought you're the disciple before it's like we tried to capture him what would that do would that set him off as well like knowing that he interfered with um, Shi Wu's life and stuff like that, you know, temper with him because remember, Chang Wu did give um, Shi Wu basically he wanted him separate from the Murum world. So to know that this guy is also somehow um, tempered with his life, even though Shi, um, Shi Wu voluntarily went back in, you know, to say all the hurt he must have received, maybe he'll switch as well because of that. And also, as I said, this is, I think I mentioned this a while ago, this is a long running thing. Chung Wu is working with the guys who killed um, Shi Ho, well, she's in suspended animation right now. What's he going to be like when he finds that out, if he even knows that? But, uh, I mean, no, there's no way he could know that, so it's stupid. But, I mean, it's weird that he's working with these guys, and I'm just guessing he's just, you know, he's obviously still angry about Shi Ho, so he's not thinking straight. But I'd like to know if um, and when he'll know about that um, because I can't remember his guy but the Ill One Moon School guy I wonder if he's kept that secret he, um, that he has she, she Ho's body because I definitely think Chon Wu Han has no idea but anyway I'm rambling that's you know future stuff and as I said this chapter was good it had a bit of nostalgia it was good to see Shi Wun was not top dog as usual you know star prodigy child um, like he has been in the last ones I'd like to see that Sho Chong is still much stronger than him and as I said um, glad to see the Nine Arts is back in the manga I hope he has a bit more influence um, before part 3 starts and we can get this show on the road so yeah, as I said, um, good chat, I can't wait for the next week, really looking forward to that. Um, you know the usual guys, if you have any opinions, predictions, comments on the chapter, anything at all, leave it in the comment box below. Also, um, subscribe for more content in the channel if you enjoyed what you saw, as we have a new series um, of Hajimune Ippo Rising reviews and obviously coinciding with the manga review we do and also you know leave us a like as well as we appreciate it quite a bit and i'll speak to you guys next time